Now, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited says the acquisition of the OVH Energy as a commercial national oil company followed due process. At an investigative hearing with an ad hoc committee of the House, Mele Kari also denied allegations that the headquarters of the company was being moved from Abuja to Lagos. Plus TV's Emmanuel Ehigine's report is presented from our studio. There are issues of alleged corruption and wrongful accusation of OVH as a commercial national oil company. After the non-appearance of the GCO of NNPCL on Monday, the committee sent another invitation insisting that the exercise is not a witch hunt, but an attempt to establish the true positions of things. The issues in focus include alleged illegal acquisition of OVH, its assets before and after acquisition, appointment of an expatriate as managing director, alleged movement of headquarters and staff placements. It is in the light of the above that the committee has scheduled today's hearing with the hope that the stakeholders concerned will have the opportunity or benefit of shielding light to the discrepancies in respect of the record of assets and other claims relating to the accusation of OVH Energy. Yes. The former OVH Energy and its affiliates, APAPA SPM Limited, was reported to own the underlisted assets prior to its acquisition and NNP, by NNPC PLC. 380 company-owned stations, a jetty ASPM with 240,000 metric tons, eight LPG plants, three lubricant blending plants, three aviation and fuel depots, and 12 warehouses. Whereas upon accusation, the record of assets credited to OVH Energy indicate only 72 company stations and other assets are said to be either on lease or owned by third parties. The speaker is here represented and he speaks on the need for transparency and accountability in line with the Petroleum Industry Act. There is a total commitment to ensuring that we all join hands, executive and other branches of government, to reposition, refocus and rebuild this country. It is not going to be based on conflicts, but shared understanding, exchange of ideas, mutual respect, and the commitment to doing the right thing at the right time. So this is a very critical one. You may have taken the best decisions in your own judgment, and it is left for you to let this ad hoc committee know what the issues are. The GCO of NNPC Limited responded to the necessity and processes of the acquisition. Melikiari says prior to acquisition, the company's highest profits was 6.59 billion naira in 2021, but by the first quarter of 2023, a profit of 18.4 billion naira was declared. We are in control of this market today, Mr. Chairman. We have bought asset. We know clearly what we bought. There's a listing of this asset. It's not what is read in the media that people have petitioned you. We are ready to give you all the entire information immediately after this meeting or subsequently so that you can deal with it yourself, you'll see it for yourself so that we do not bore you with data on, on, the, on, the, on this table, but I can tell you that it's nowhere near what you are seeing. As we speak today, we have combined, we have 320 company-owned dealer-operated assets in the, in the company today, combination of NMPC retail and, and, and the OBH acquisition. We have 619 dealer-owned, dealer-operated assets, a total of over 939 fuel stations that are now different from what you used to know, that you are seeing them across the country. We are completing the branding. Nigerians trust this. And I can tell you, Chairman, just three weeks ago, I don't know if anyone is from Lagos. I didn't hear anyone from Lagos. There was a small emergence of Q, few, uh, few hours of Q, and what caused it? One company increased their prices by seven naira. As simple as this, everybody rushed to our stations, and then Q started developing to the com companies that are not, okay. this is the security that the PIA has envisaged. The lawmakers, however, disclosed plans to carry out an oversight to the OVH to see its assets and assess its performance before putting together its report to be submitted to the House for further legislative action. In another development, the House of Representatives began investigation to probe illegal auction of government properties. 
The agencies involved have been accused of illegal auction of some properties owned by the federal government. We don't have some of the letters from the ministry and then some of the list that we want to see the justification, the approval from the ministry of BPP for members of staff of management to buy almost 22 or even more. And the evidence that this was not that they selected the best of the vehicles and they wrote to the ministry and got approval and purchased it. So I want to see how much they paid. Whether it is the same force rate or market rate or even less uh, than the force rate. We want to see that. The agencies involved were all asked to report to the parliament next week on Finley. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.